Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss how to solve a word problem sum by matrix method. So let us consider this question. The cost of 4 kg onion, 3 kg wheat and 2 kg rice is 60. The cost of 2 kg onion, 4 kg wheat and 6 kg rice is 90. Similarly, this virus is given. So we have to find out the cost of each item per kg by matrix method. So let us consider the cost of 1 kg onion Bx. Okay. So I am considering this one. The cost of 4 kg onion. Okay. We have to find out. So let us assume 1 kg cost x rupees. If it is cost x rupees for 2 kg right it will cost twice x similarly for 4 kg it will cost 4 x similarly i am assuming for per kg is y width okay so ultimately it will cost 3 y so if we go by this way so ultimately what will have you see 4 kg of onion this is 4x 3 kg of wheat 3y and 2 kg of rice 2z so ultimately the total is 60 rupees this one so similarly if we go by these sentences ultimately we'll have three equations these three equations are simultaneous linear equation so we can write this simultaneous linear equation in matrix form as x1 with this is equals to this one. So ultimately we we'll assume this one, the whole one is a matrix which is of order 3 by 3 and this is a matrix of order 3 into 1. So ultimately it will be your 3 into 1, the resultant matrix. So ax is equals to b and we know from the earlier video that x is equals to a inverse b. And ultimately, A inverse can be written as 1 by determinant A adjoint A. So ultimately, we will have 1 by determinant A and inside bracket adjoint A into B. Okay. Now, now we have here, okay. We have, we have the value here. The value of the matrix 3 by 3 is given here. So, let us find out its cofactor. Okay, how to find out this cofactor? Let me explain you a little bit. See, A11, right? The location of this element is small A11. That means even number positive, this is odd number negative, this is positive, this is negative, this is positive, this is negative. Similarly, this is positive, this is negative, and this is positive. Okay, so now this sign is positive here, and eliminate this one with this one. So ultimately, what we'll have? We have 4 3 is 12, this 12 minus 6 to the 12. This 12 ultimately will have 0 here. Okay, now similarly for A12, you see this is negative, right? I already told you if it is 1 plus 2 3 odd number so an extra negative is there so directly we can put negative sign here now eliminate this one and this one ultimately what will have 3 to the 6 minus 36 6 minus 36 extra negative is already there so ultimately we'll have 30 value similarly a13 this is our a13 right this one so eliminate this one and this one we'll have 2 to the 4 minus 24 4 minus 24 ultimately 20 okay so similarly we can find out the value of the risk factor okay now before that once we have get a11 a12 and a13 we can find out the value of the determinant we know how to find out the value of the determinant right so value of the determinant a is equals to a small a11 this one 4 right capital a11 0 plus 
small a12 3 into capital a12 this is our 30 right so ultimately if we find the value ultimately we will have 50 here okay so once we have 50 that means it is a non singular matrix and a inverse exists okay so we can easily find the, the cofactor of the rest element now we know adjoint a is equals to transpose of the cofactor matrix right so this is in the row element right now if we transpose this one the row is interchanged to column here this row second row in the second column in third row in the third column okay so if we substitute the values ultimately it will look like this so once we have adjoint a we can find out the value of a inverse b right so a inverse b is 1 by determinant a adjoint a into b and let us substitute the value determinant a we have 50 here and adjoint a this one and this is our b this one so now if we multiply matrix multiplication then ultimately we will have this value so if we total calculate this one ultimately this will become 250 400 and 400 so if we divide by 50 ultimately we will be 5 8 and 8 so 5 8 and 8 so we already know x is equals to small x y and z so ultimately x is equals to 5 y is equals to 8 and z is equals to 8 okay so what we get we get the cost of the onion wheat and rice are this rupees 5 per kg rupees 8 of the wheat per kg and rice is 8 rupees per kg okay so this is our solution if we have problem regarding the matrix multiplication i have other video also you can check there thank you